it's teeny and today i am back with another makeup video today i'll be showing you guys how to easily recreate the alzang makeup look if you guys are wondering what alzang means the popular south korean word literally translates to best face or good looking which we're simply just going to try out how they would do their makeup first off i'm going to set the vibe by wearing these they're from yesta and they're super duper cute so i'm going to start with foundation i'm using my lift and luminate serum foundation from number seven alzongs are usually seen to have natural looking skin tones as their makeup look so that's what we're going for today natural looking then I'm going in with the Sam concealer to cover my blemishes. They all seemingly have flawless skin, so I'm going to rely on my concealer to blur out all the blemishes and redness. Apply your concealer over your lips too because it's going to play an important role in achieving the popular Alzang gradient lips. Now for contour, I'm using a shading stick from Sasein just to sculpt my face out a bit, giving it more dimension. So I'm applying it around my cheekbones, jawline, chin, nose, and we can't forget about the forehead. Now I'm adding a bit of color to my face using this Amelie Lip Plat by applying it to my cheeks and across my nose to give myself healthy and rosy cheeks. Then using a highlighter, I will add it to the highest points of my face, like my nose bridge, the tip of my nose, my cheeks, and a bit on the cupid's bow. Then setting my face with my Suichan translucent powder, I'll just set it like that. So this is what my face looks like now. Then now we're going to fill in our eyebrows. I'm using the slim brow from Coslux, and I'm gonna draw in my brows. Alzheimer's usually go for a straight brow, so that's what we're doing. Then just brushing it out to make them look natural. And we can't forget to set our eyebrows. I'm using a styling gel from Golden Rose to keep my brows fluffy and in place. Then using my Kurinko Shabam Shabam palette, I'm going for a pinkish shimmery eye look for a dolly and youthful effect. It's super simple, so I lay my base with light pink colors, then smoke the ends a bit with a warmer color, and top it off with a nice shimmer color. I'll also add a bit of color to the lower part of my eyes, so adding glitters to the under eyes will accentuate that part for a more youthful appearance. Now onto eyeliner. I'm using a brown liquid eyeliner from Heroin Make and giving my eyes a little wing. It's really great for defining your eyes and I feel that using brown color gives it a softer look. Now onto mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise with my Gino McCray Eyelash Curler. We're really giving a lot of emphasis on our eyes to look full but still going for a natural look. Then moving on to the lips, Alzheimer's are known for their gradient lips, which I'm going to use my Amin Blur Mystery Tint in the shade 007 Rosewood. This product is so velvety and nice. It's really easy to achieve a soft blurry effect with this product. I'm going to apply the product to the center of my lips and using my finger to blend it outwards very subtly, which will make it soft and blurry. Then I'm going to apply a gloss over it using my Dior Lip Maximizer. I've seen pictures of Aljans on the internet and some of them look super cute wearing glasses, so I got a pair of my own. These transparent frames are super cute and so comfortable to wear. I also purchased this holographic cloud phone case because it looks really trendy and interesting. And that's it for this video. It's super easy, right? And all the products will be linked down below, so check them out. And use teeny tiny 3000 for special discounts on YesStar products. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!